Hey, okay, this video is to um, primarily go over the parts for the latest song uh, that we released, Don't Give In. Uh, I've got a couple of music friends especially that were interested in how did you do that? What are the parts that, uh, what are the parts you're using on that to accomplish that sound? Uh, we've gotten some really good feedback on the song, I'm very happy about that. Um, and as you know, I've been writing almost exclusively for the last so probably eight nine months now, and uh, it's almost it's almost a year in this dad gap tuning, which is D A D G A D. All right, so it's got a nice round, deep kind of sound. Um, you know, it's. countless times in a number of very popular songs. Um, there's a number of ways you can use it, obviously, and I've covered this in previous videos, but to, to review, you know, you can do a bit of a number like this. Alright, and then you've got the sort of Appalachian sound. sort of a rag tiny feel to it. So there's a lot of uh, traditional things that you would do in this tuning that are kind of a given. That's what this tuning was kind of uh, set up to do from the very beginning, I think. I mean, that's because <clears throat> uh, just based on what I've heard over the years. My challenge, as you remember, I'd broken this ring finger and uh, so it became very limited with a splint down there and everything. So I was challenged to try to find other ways I could write during that time in this tuning. And I did write some things that were uh, contempt. Uh, contemporary versions of the traditional styles in this tuning, but I wanted to incorporate it into my usual uh, repertoire of uh, contemporary pop music, if you will, or indie pop. And so I started to play around with it, and I came up with a variety of things. I mean, I even came up with some classical sounds. This is a G minor, it's an A minor, obviously, because I got the capo on, but just on that one chord alone to a D. Sonata in G minor. There's a, a, whole, um, a YouTube video on that song alone. So you can come up with all kinds of interesting things. And then, not to drag this out, but for the most current song, uh, what happened was, um, I mean, I was, uh, I would say that this is a, a B position, B minor position. I'm, I'm playing second fret, second string, fourth fret, third, uh, I'm sorry, I should, I should do it the right way, second fret, fifth string, right? and uh, fourth fret, fourth string. So on the A and the D strings, uh, second fret, fourth fret, respectively, you get, you get this kind of sound. It's sort of a B minor-ish, uh, with, almost with an added ninth, I think, is what it is. And then bringing this over to pick up sort of the E note. And I had started off playing this very slow. I thought I was gonna turn it into a slow ballad. And I naturally slid up to the G position on this. G, you go to the A, right? So it started off slow enough, and then I just wanted to get some motor skill, uh, muscle memory things going one day, and I, I decided I'd play that progression in a, quite a bit faster. And so I ended up doing. The 
of time through. Accent. Second time I'm, I run through it, I'm going more to the G to the A. And then I'm going into a, what I call the deep D. I'm just playing this uh, fourth fret on the uh, D string, so I'm getting a. So, okay, so I'm playing with my pinky, so I can grab this E note again. G, A, accent on the high note. with the intro, it's obviously the intro, but uh, this is, uh, I'm playing it up here on the 11th, well, it's on the 11th fret. Disregard the capo, I'm going to also, I'm going to refer to this as the 11th fret. Coming down to. Right, just like that. And then it's an E minor, with this added 6th. So it's a fairly simple, um, it is, it's a very simple progression, and it requires just a lot of practice to get that smooth. That's it. Blah, blah. and uh, turns in there that you can kind of pitch uh, depending upon where you are and what little extra notes you want to throw in. <clears throat> but and if you want the tablature, I'd be glad to provide the exact tablature for the positions. But th they're all pretty straightforward. That's the beauty of this tuning is that it doesn't require a lot of extra thought necessarily. Um, but at the outset of trying to create something different, you have to really be able to transpose what this tuning is, okay, and you have to kind of bend it to your will in order to be able to apply these other chord variations in it and, and make it sound something outside the traditional sound of what dadgad is, is uh, noted for most, most often. So I, I hope this was helpful to you, and um, we're really excited about this song. We've gotten some great feedback, as I said, and uh, we thank you very much uh, for your review time and for offering us your critique. Uh, we hope that we're on a little bit of a roll here because uh, we've been kind of out of commission for the last year. Lance is real busy. I've been kind of crazy busy. Um, but we're trying to find some time to sort of pick it up and, and run with it some more. And uh, this was a great kickoff to get back into things. So expect some more from us very shortly. Uh, glad to show this to you tonight. All right. Take care. Have a great weekend.